Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. It is another week in the lovely United Kingdom, and with it, a brand new car is officially here for us to go and unlock. Unfortunately, it's dropping in the middle of the winter, but it is this thing, the Range Rover Velar. All we gotta do is a season event, so it should take us like 10 minutes, but before we go and unlock that, Forzathon shop for the week. Don't let me down, yo. There we go. Two amazing cars. That Porsche is actually super, super quick in S1 class. Brad DeBerdy's Ford F-150 that can have 1,800 horsepower. Awesome car. Would highly suggest checking them out. I, I, I guess let's not waste any time. Range Rover Velar. Let's go unlock the thing. Just like that, 10 minutes later, Land Rover across the line. Three stars across the board. And with that, the Range Rover Velar has been officially unlocked. The Range Rover Velar first edition? Wait, what? Range Rover Velar. We are sitting in the middle of B-Class, which actually leads me to believe that this thing could actually be very, very good in A-Class off-roading. We will have to see about that, though. We've got 375 horsepower, 330 foot-pounds of torque. We are a little bit on the heavy side, just because at the end of the day, it is a... SUV and unfortunately for us we've got a three liter engine for those of you who don't know I am not even joking here there are nine different Range Rover Velar so we've got a three liter supercharged v6 when you have the option of a 550 horsepower v8 you go with the 550 horsepower v8 where did Forza get the engine sound for this thing if you guessed a Nissan GTR, you would be correct. It's also the slowest car in the world. It's not exactly exciting. I know I'm kind of breaking the rules here, but I'm going back to the festival. We are going to do this properly because Forts has failed us. We are going to do this ourselves. Really? Really? It's an actual... Okay, well, we're going with that. We are now the Range Rover Velar SV. And suddenly everything is right in the world. Now I'll go and give you some fun facts. Jumping into the Range Rover Velar. This is where you would probably be expecting some fun facts. And I've got some for you. Here's the best fun fact for this car. The Range Rover Velar was designed, I am not even joking, by a man named Jerry. You might be asking, what else is Jerry designed? J Jerry's designed the Range Rover Evoke. And that's that's about it. I, I hate to leave it there. That That's about all of the fun facts for the Range Rover Velar. I'm sorry, there aren't many fun facts about a glorified soccer mom van. In terms of Forza Horizon 4 though, actually not a bad car. Depending on what upgrades we've got available for this thing, we could actually have something very, very quick on our hands here. I think we've definitely got to give this a go with some big ol' engine swaps, some huge weight reduction, oh, ho hopefully, but let let's go and find out what we got. Twitch chat is actually telling me all of this gold here is actual real gold plated in 24 karat gold. I will be honest, I have never seen more of a waste of money than putting actual gold on one of the most common Range Rovers that exist. In terms of engine swaps, we've got the superior 5 liter V8 ripped straight out of the Range Rover SVR. A 5.2 liter V8 ripped out of the Lamborghini Huracan, a V12 ripped out of a Lamborghini Aventador, and a 7.2 liter V8 racing engine. I will be honest, that is a lot more options than I was expecting. I think though, we are gonna start this off with the ultimate off-road build. Let's go with the 7.2 liter V8 racing since that's gonna be the most OP of the engine swaps we've got available, toss on some twin turbos, 
This is now a thousand horsepower Range Rover. Yo, hello, okay. However, unfortunately, it does add an extra 200 pounds to my Range Rover Velar. I, I will come back to that. I do not know if that's worth it just yet. Uh, we do have a big old rear wag. Literally every single person in Twitch chat is yelling me, yelling at me to toss that bumper on. It makes this worse, but it makes us cooler. So in reality, it makes us better. After that, we could toss on some fantastic off-road slash snow tires onto the thing. That is what I'm talking about there. Please tell me. Yes. Yes. Playground Games. Thank you for listening. You'll love to see it though. Thank you, Playground Games for making this car cool. No, we've even got engine space. Oh, well that, that was disappointing. I was expecting bigger. And then the biggest question of them all though, weight reduction. How much is this gonna remove? We're 4,700 pounds, a thousand pounds gone. And somehow we're still in S1 class. That's pretty good. After all of that, 3,700 pounds now. 1,300 horsepower. I think we've definitely built the fastest off-road Range Rover Velar we could. We finally have advanced painting options. Look at this. So paint group number one is the main body of the car. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then paint group number two, is it going to be? It is going to be. You can paint the roof and the wing mirrors. A different color. Thank you. I, I think we gotta go with this. That's so cool looking. I mean, if you ignore the gold that ruins this car look, I, I think that's pretty cool. That is the most absurd thing I have ever heard that came out of a Range Rover. That's pretty quick though. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Okay, maybe... Maybe we do have something on our hands here. Okay, Range Rover Velar. This is the ultimate question now. So we'll see how it can do off-roading in the middle of winter. But I'm going to say right off the bat, that ain't bad. That, that really, really ain't bad. Yo, we're up to P3 already. Rip the handbrake through there for the style points. I, I really wasn't expecting to get that much weight reduction out of the Velar. And with it, it just becomes so agile and so light on its feet almost. Come on, Range Rover Velar. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Lovely racing line. Yo, this car is a beast. I thought it was down and out. It absolutely nailed it. Into a tree. Pass the focus. One more to go. I've just killed a sheep. We've got to get the hairdresser in the Range Rover Velar. Handbrake it through there. The Range Rover Velar is an amazing off-road race car. That is what... No. Here we go, boys. It's not every day you do an ice drag race. 1,300 horsepower, though, boys, is no joke. Adios, Mr. Lamborghini Urus Range Rover SVR. You are not worthy. That is what I'm talking about. An 18-second quarter mile or, or, or half mile on ice? Yo, I'm just gonna say that's not a bad time. I will be honest, racing this thing off-road actually went a thousand times better than I would have expected. If the goal is to turn this thing into the ultimate Range Rover Velar race car, why don't we swap this thing with a Lamborghini engine? It worked for our Bentley. Why wouldn't it work on a Range Rover as well? So Lamborghini Aventador, Welcome to the squad. Yo, look at the performance I get from race tires on this thing. That is ridiculous. I cannot believe we are already S2 class in a Range Rover. After all of our upgrades, we officially have the most insane Range Rover in existence. 1,500 horsepower. I'm really, really sorry, okay? 
it's gonna be worth it, trust me. That is already really, really fast. The ultimate Range Rover Velar race car, I guess. And away we go. That's zero to 60 in less than three seconds. And we are already gunning it into the first... Okay, maybe, maybe that rear wing isn't the most effective thing we've ever put on one of our vehicles. Guys, I'm, I'm starting to think the Range Rover Velar isn't very good in the corners. I think we might have added in a little bit too much horsepower because I have zero grip in this thing. It is undrivable. Up the inside. Oh my God. Well, for everybody who wanted the rear wing gone, I, I, I got you. I will be honest. I think we wasted our time here. Nick, you have forever tainted Range Rover with that lame sounding V12. Never mind. I actually thought we got the fastest lap there. I was wrong. I came into Forza Horizon 4 expecting to make fun of the Range Rover Velar since it's so common and just all around kind of a boring car in real life. But with the upgrades that we've got for this thing, awesome little fun car, so many different possibilities, and maybe with the right tuning, who knows, might be actually competitive online.